all those years I was self-harming, I was cutting myself as a teen, as an adult, I was cutting to silence myself, to keep myself from talking about the abuse and torture because my abusers had threatened to kill me if I talked and I saw them murder kids and I was terrified for my life. I cut to escape from emotional pain when the emotional pain was too traumatic and I couldn't handle it anymore. I cut to stop the flood of overwhelming memories when they kept going on and on for hours and it was too painful. I cut to punish myself uh, for the abuse and the torture, even though none of it was my fault. I cut as a silent cry for help, even though I wore long sleeves and long pants in the summer even, um, because I desperately wanted someone to save me from the abuse and torture, and I didn't think I could save myself, although I did in the end, but it took so many years. And I cut to keep from killing myself. And I show all those things in my book Scars, which has been banned multiple times by extremists, even though it has helped save lives. So many readers have told me that Scars helped them stop self-harming, get into therapy, talk to someone for the first time about their self-harm, their sexual abuse, or that they're queer and to come out as queer, and even to keep from killing themselves. Books can be powerful and healing. And if you would like a signed, rare, hardcover, first edition of Scars, um, rare because it's no longer in print, the publisher went under, please donate $5 or more to the family in Gaza that I'm fundraising for, and then just email me a screenshot or an email confirmation to Cheryl at CherylRainfield.com. Um, US and Canada only because shipping is really expensive from Canada and money is very tight for me. I apologize. And then you're entered to win. And this will run for about two weeks and hopefully we'll raise some money for this family who needs it and you have a chance at winning a rare copy of Scars. If you can't afford to donate, if you could share, leave a comment, uh, save the video, that would be awesome.